hello guys welcome to all Lexis media today we're going to be talking about multiple topics today we're going to be talking about jt allegedly dating lil uzi bird we're also going to be talking about the baby and his new girlfriend and we're also going to be talking about people body shaming regine so let's go ahead and just get into the video so if you guys don't know the baby was well he, it was some rumors going out that the baby was dating this music artist by the name of Danny Lay. Nothing like concrete ever came out. You can just see like she'll post something and it'll be like the same car that the baby is in that day or the same location that the baby is in that day. So that's what had people speculating and putting out rumors that they were dating. But today, your boy the baby and Danny Lay were spotted together. You know, it was cause not an uproar or anything but you know it was like oh the baby is dating her we thought that he was dating her by them being spotted together and her holding his arm of course you're gonna think that they're dating so i'm guessing that they're dating but y'all know how fans always want the baby mama to be a better baby mama so she went live and you know of course people were asking her questions like how does she feel about the baby moving on with this girl named danny and she responded and this is what she had to say no, I really didn't come here to talk about what the fuck y'all y'all want me to talk about. Because it ain't nothing to talk about, baby. We living our best life. Do you hear me? We living our best life. <laughs> you heard me. For real, for real. Because, baby. Mama been that. Mama gonna always be that. And I'm good. <laughs> y'all uh -uh. so you guys heard what Mimi had to say basically she was saying that she don't feel no type of way about the baby moving on and I'm glad about that like why does everybody have to be a bitter baby mama she's not a bitter baby mama but it's like the fans and people in the comments always want somebody to feel a certain type of way they want to picture somebody as a bitter baby mama or you know, it's like, why does she have to be a bitter baby mama? But anyways, she responded to the comment section with this comment. She said, LL, y'all do realize he's the father of my child. We in this for life, G. Even when the next come, y'all gotta stop fueling over anger, fueling off anger, and be more positive with love. It creates a pure soul, peace, and happiness. So basically, you can see your girl Mimi is not worried about Danny Lay as she shouldn't. She's the fa mother of his child and he's the father. It's like they're always going to be in each other's life. So it's no point to be bitter if somebody moves on. And it just, it's no point. So anyways, we're going to move on to the next story with Regine Carter. So we all know that Regine Carter, you know, she's natural. And I'm guessing some people in her comments when she was live had something to say like, oh, you should get some type of surgery. And this is what she had to say. Because I see some people saying, leave Regina alone. Why is y'all hate on me? I just came on here to just have a good time. And then y'all want to hate. Why? Why are we hating? Like, I, don't, I never understood it. You will not make me feel any less because I don't have no faith in my body. Okay? I love, a, I love a person who wants to get made up. And go get they and go lay on the table if they do as please. I respect them, but baby, I don't want to. So I'm gonna keep my flat and I'm gonna keep my flat and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do me. You get it? <laughs> you get it? Okay. Expect everybody to have a certain look, baby. I loved. Okay. <laughs> I just love this body. <laughs> So don't you play with me. Y'all have to change yourself. You gotta love yourself. Love yourself for you and I bet you. Somebody will love you for you. If you love yourself, somebody gonna love you for you. You know? So stop trying to change y'all body. Stop coming under my comments saying, flat, get your boobs done. Do -do 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 stop it. Please. So you guys heard what Regine had to say. Basically, she was saying that she doesn't care what anybody thinks about her body. She shouldn't care. I mean, it's her body. She has to live with it every day. So I don't understand why people want to body shame her. There's absolutely nothing wrong with her body. 
People come in different shapes and forms. Like, why does it matter? Of course, you see all these women getting their body done. That's what they want to do. Some women just want to be natural and they're happy in their natural body. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with getting your body done because that isn't. If you want to fix something that you feel like needs to be fixed, go ahead and do you, boo. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different because that's your body. You're going to have to live with your body for the rest of your life. So do what you want to do. If you want to be natural and don't get your body done, hey, do you, boo. Can't nobody tell you what to do with your body. It's your body. And I also like the way Regine, you know, handled the situation. Like, we all know that she gets body shamed a lot. Somebody, people are always saying she has thick thighs. It's nothing wrong with thick thighs. I mean, there's people in the world that want thick thighs. And like sis said, can't nobody make her feel no type of way about her body. And I'm glad, just like Lizzo, because a lot of people want to body shame Lizzo because she's proud of her body. It's like, why do y'all want to body shame people? I just don't get it. Like, people are built different. Everybody's not the same. Everybody can't afford surgery. Everybody doesn't want to get surgery. Some people actually actually want to have a natural body just let them do them so now we're going to move on to the next story about jt and lil uzi bert so i'm guessing that they're dating or messing around or something like that because jt actually went live and had something to say about lil uzi and she also put this in her instagram story so jt from the city girl said i only messed with one person since i've been home i'm that b for real and that's when people thought she was talking about lil uzi because she also went live and some of the things she was saying was insinuating that she was talking about lil uzi like i said i guess they've been messing around and being spotted with each other and things like that he was even said you know putting some of her tweeting some of her lyrics on twitter and like i said i guess they messing around this is the first time i'm ever hearing about this like i never seen no picture with them together them hanging out or anything like that but like i said i'm guessing they got a little some some going on but they've just been keeping it on the low and hey to be honest that's just the best way keep your relationship on the low because you know when somebody find out hey it's gonna be some drama and it's gonna be no telling especially by them being too polar opposites like jt is like this ratchet chick and lil uzi just seems like this shy timid dude but that's probably what attracted them together anyways let me go ahead and stop talking so you guys can go ahead and get into this live my motherfucking life it's like get the fuck on every day every day every day you want to start with me you want to bring me down you want to break me down you want to see me cry like every day you you don't get tired of that shit. Don't run behind these niggas, don't. Yeah. Horrible. Yes, that is horrible. Niggas always want to wake toxic, 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 toxic. I ain't gonna lie, I'm insecure sometimes. Like, sometimes I be feeling like, you know, I ain't good enough and all that. I ain't needy. I don't beg us do none of that. I be like, I just be fucking with it for who they is. But you can't fuck with it for, they, for what they is. Because niggas are... So you guys heard what JT said in her live. You guys let me know what you think about what she said in her comment section. And also let me know, do you think that JT and Uzi Vert are dang for real? Because I just want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Also, let me know what you guys think about the other situations in this video in the comment section. Also, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thanks for watching.